Yes, February is unveiling very beautifully. You're welcome to What's Buzzing, where we tell you about some social media buzzes for the week. As usual, I am Eunice Achu. And on today's edition, NAVDAC is intensifying enforcement efforts to implement the ban on the production and sale of alcoholic beverages in sachet and small volume containers of 200 mil and below. This decision, based on recommendations from various stakeholders, aims to protect vulnerable population from the harmful effects of alcohol consumption. Netizens' reaction to this, first from Ikena reads, there are other local alcohol for motorists to consume. How do you control that? Do you consider the effect on businesses and producers? The Nigeria economy cannot support the absence of this product in this size. Um, what does he say? Cereals comment to this is, my suggestion Write a budget for billions of Naira to embark on a sensitization campaign in schools against excessive alcohol consumption. Set up a high-powered committee with those bodies you said recommended your actions to standardize and sanitize the alcohol beverage industry. Yeah, that's right. And Abiodun's comment to this is, please kindly think of the retrenchment of the workers from the companies. Nigeria economy is in a mess already. Please, this is not the right time for this NAVDAC. Mr. President, kindly come to the rescue. Do you think he would advise differently? A law of Niger's comment reads, I personally monitored this enforcement myself in streets and motor parks to check how effective NAVDAQ enforcement is. This is long overdue. I wish NAVDAQ successful enforcement. To the next on the buzz list, a Nigerian soldier stationed in Meduguri, Borno State, who in a viral video expressed his frustration at being unable to visit his family due to transport fare, has been reportedly detained by the army. The soldier had in a trending video lamented how he spent one year in the bush in Borno and was given a pass to visit his family but could not go because his salary is 50,000. Um, netizens have reacted like, how is an army man supposed to earn 50,000 naira? Well, let's see this the comment section. Chubis commented this is, but he didn't even criticize anyone. He only lamented about his reality. So why, why the need for his arrest? That the regas comment to this is trying to silence an officer for crying out is nothing but tyranny. On real, Nigeria soldiers should be earning more than 50,000, especially with the situation of things. These people risk their lives on a daily basis. Politicians who practically do nothing are making millions. Johnny Yanis comment to this is the army authorities that are supposed to be the voice of their officers are doing the exact opposite. The other lady that also voiced out for being frustrated by her senior colleagues has since been silenced. Well, and Anis comment to this is the army certainly knows what they are doing. They are in charge of their subordinates. There are rules and regulations that guide everybody. Once gone against, there are consequences. So, and this comment is trying to say he went against some rules and has been penalized accordingly. Now, moving forward, earlier in the week, women and youths were seen protesting high cost of living in Mina, blocking major roads. The protest started when a group of women blocked Mina Bido Road at the popular Bakungu Roundabout to lament what they termed the suffering under the present administration. They were later joined by men and youths stopping vehicles from moving. The protesters said the rising cost of food items and assumed poor government efforts to arresting the situation has forced them to block major routes so government will hear their cry and make life a lot easier for them. Contrary to their plea and expectations, midweek, the Niger State Police Command arrested the alleged initiator of what is described as a violent protest in Mina, Aisha Jibrin, along with two other women and 22 suspects, as confirmed by the spokesperson of the command, DSP Wasiu Abiodun, in a statement. Well, there are reactions to this. Are they supposed to arrest these women? Were they wrongly protesting? Let's see the comment section. FSG supplement essential comments to this is, honestly, the cost of things is really alarming. 
Yesterday, my girl went to the market with 15K to buy what we can cook for today and tomorrow morning. And the money wasn't enough. Like 15K can't even be enough to cook an economical pot of soup in and a breakfast for the next day. How much is minimum wage? How will the poor cope? Question. And TSG World comment to this is cry to God, oh, not man. They have no idea on what to do. It's that simple. Wuras comment to this is imagine arresting people for protesting for a better living. You all want us to suffer in silence. And Samsonic's comment to this is the left kidnappers and Boko Haram to arrest poor women who only complained of their bellies. Well, Whatever the case is, let's all stay safe and do the right thing. Everything will be fine. We will all be all right, last, last. That's how we end it on What's Buzzing Today. My name is Eunice Acha. I hope you had fun watching. Till I see you again. Peace out.